Ram 7 instructions. Now, lots of instructions in Ram. If you get the time, go through all of them. Otherwise, just listen to the next one minute very carefully. Okay, this one minute may be worth 10 marks in your exam. Just listen to what I'm saying. I'm giving you the whole juice of the instruction set in one minute. First of all, know these conditional branches of ADD set of A. B A L branch always will always jump. So it's an unconditional jump, it will always jump. Branch never will never jump. So it will never jump. So it's a dummy instruction like NOP of no operation of AD51. Branch if carry set. So it's like jump if carry. Branch if carry clear. You will know why I'm doing this. Just bear with me and listen. Branch if carry clear will jump if carry flag is zero. Branch if overflow set. So overflow flag one, overflow flag zero. BMI. There is an instruction by the name BMI. BMI stands for branch if minus. Minus means negative flag should be one. There is an instruction by the name BPL. Branch if plus. Branch if equal. Equal means zero flag is one. You compare two numbers and they are equal. So comparison is subtraction. So zero flag is one. Branch if not equal. Zero flag is zero. Branch if higher. You compare two numbers. The first number is higher. Branch if higher or same. The first number is higher or both of them are same. Branch if lower. BLO is an instruction. Branch if lower or same, branch if greater than BGT, branch if greater than or equal to, branch if less than, less than or equal to. Now these four seem to be the same as these four. These are for unsigned numbers, these are for signed numbers. Now listen, listen. Now you'll know why I said this. Listen. So there's an instruction like move R0, comma R1. Do you ever think they will ask you this in the exam? No. I am telling you no. If they do, then ask that, ask the exam over there. Are you serious? If a person cannot answer this, then what is a person doing in the exam? R0 gets the value of R1. Now, simple instructions of ARM. Remember, ARM is a reduced instruction set computer. So, it is by nature supposed to have a simple instruction set. It has. It's just that you can attach things to an instruction which make it look complicated. They are not complicated if you just know how to read it. All these conditions that I told you, till now you had the impression, which is true in Intel processors, in all Intel processors that you learned so far, there were conditional jumps. I repeat, conditional jumps. In ARM, everything can be conditional. Not only a jump, a move can be conditional, an add can be conditional, so on. So you can attach these conditions with every instruction. That's why even in the class, before starting the ARM instruction set, I make people go through this. Because this is what, when attached with an instruction, makes it complicated. Otherwise, ARM instructions are so simple. If you've done, you've done two semesters of UV, you should be able to understand them without anybody's help. It's these conditions which make things complicated. So you need move R0 comma R1, it's so simple. Move EQ. Now what does move EQ mean? Move if equal. So move if equal R0 comma R1. So what do you think? So if R0 and R1 are equal, then move R1 into R0. Come on, don't even tell me that rubbish. If R1 and R0 are same, why would I even want to put R1 into R0? That means R0 already has the value. When you write move if equal, you're saying if the result of the previous operation is equal, then do this operation. Did you understand this? When you write JC, what does JC mean? Jump if carry. Carry in this instruction? No, how stupid. How can they be carrying this instruction? This is a jump. The carry in the previous instruction. The previous instruction calls the carry, then you do a jump. Similarly, when you write move EQ, it means if the previous instruction's comparison was equal, then do this move. Otherwise, skip this and go to the next instruction. So every instruction can have a condition. You can write move CS. What does that mean? Move if carry set. So if in the previous operation I have done some addition and there was a carry, then this move will be performed, otherwise it will be set. And all of these conditions can come over here and that's how they make a simple move complicated. You write MUL. Every kid in the world can understand what is MUL. What nobody understands is what is MUL EQ. MUL EQ means is the same as MUL. Don't look at this. First look at the core instruction. The core instruction is MUL. EQ just says that if the result of the previous operation was equal, then do this multiply, otherwise skip. So if you know this trick, all of a sudden pick up all the papers, see the ARM instructions, suddenly you realize you understand all the instructions. It's these condition codes when attached with an instruction make it complicated. And there is one more thing. When you write add R0, R1, R2, what does it do? R1 plus R2 shows the result in R0. Everybody understands that. Do you think they'll ask you this in the exam? No way. They ask this. Adds. So people say it adds. Hmm. <laughs> Sweet. So add adds, adds also adds. The difference is 
Till now, in Intel processors, you are used to the fact that in this edition, if there is a carry, carry flag will be one. Not in ARM. In ARM, flags are only affected when you put an S in the instruction. Without the S, flags will not be affected. S stands for status. I'm sure you would have guessed that. So if you write add, it will do the same addition. If you write adds, it will do the same addition, but will also affect the flag. Please tell me, did you understand this? So that's what the S does. So moves, move will move, moves also moves. But the difference is when you write moves, R1 will go to R0 and based on that value, the flags will be affected. If the value is negative, the negative flag will become one and so on. Now when it moves EQ, this is what becomes a complicated instruction. Students say, arm has complicated. No, come on, remove all the garbage. Look at the fo focus on the main instruction. It is a move. The S indicates that it is a uh, going to affect the flag and the EQ indicates that only if they are equal. Like this combine all the condition codes and put the S and you will be able to understand every instruction. Remove the S, remove the condition code, look at the core instruction, what will be the core instruction, move or an add or a subtract or an add or an or and an XOR etc. And now go through the remaining arm instructions, you will find them simple.